Unit Practice Exam Listening Part 2 Welcome to Morning Coffee in Manchester. Today, we have an interesting guest in our studio. Meet Natalie Boskova, a ballerina. Natalie has danced with the Royal Ballet and the New York Ballet. She's now opening a dance school here in Manchester. Tell me, Natalie, why did you decide to open a dance school in Manchester? Well, Matthew, I've danced in London, New York and Paris, but I was born and grew up in Manchester. Now that I've finished my dancing career, I've decided to return home to be close to my family. How did you first become interested in dancing? When I was only four years old, I saw my first ballet. I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. After that, I wanted to be a ballerina. I was so keen to dance, my mum sent me to dance school that same year. I was one of the youngest girls in my class. Were you the best dancer? No, but I was the most enthusiastic dancer. I practiced all the time. Every Christmas and birthday, I went to a ballet. I read books about dancers. Then, when I was 11, my dance teacher suggested that I should go to the Royal Ballet School. I auditioned for the school and I was accepted. You went to live in London all by yourself when you were 11. No, I was actually 12 when I started. I wasn't really by myself. It was in this incredible school. We danced all day and some of the best dancers in the world were our teachers. It was the happiest time of my life. I studied at the school till I was 17. Then, after I finished, I worked as a dancer for 28 years. Last year, when I was 45, I decided to retire. Why did you decide to retire? My feet were hurting me, and after dancing for 28 years, I needed a break. But I haven't stopped dancing. I've become a teacher. Next week, I'm opening the Natalie Boscova Dance Studio on Berry Road here in Manchester. It will be a dance school for dancers of all ages. All ages? All ages. There'll be a baby ballerina class for very young children, and there'll be ballet classes for adults. There'll even be a course for grandmas and grandpas. No one is too young or too old to dance. How exciting! If you want to learn more about Natalie's studio, log on to our website. Now, we need to take a commercial break. Then we'll be back with some stories about Natalie's years as a dancer. Pet Practice Exam Listening Part 3 Do you have dreams of being a famous writer? Do you enjoy writing short stories? Would you like to see your short story in print? Then write a short story for the Writers of Tomorrow Short Story Competition. If you are between the ages of 15 and 18, this competition is for you. To enter the contest, you must write an original short story. Your story can be a maximum of 1,000 words long and must be written in English. Please be careful, the competition won't accept stories longer than 1,000 words. Your story can be a romance, mystery, science fiction or horror story, but it must be a fictional story. Don't write a biography, autobiography or real-life story. Remember, this is a fiction contest. The judges are looking for a story which is original, exciting and well-written. First prize is £5,000 and two weeks at a writer's workshop in Edinburgh. Second prize is £2,500 and a laptop computer. There will be one first prize and one second prize. The winning stories will be published in our October magazine. The stories will also be on our website. To enter the contest, you must contact us to get an application form. Our address is Educational Radio WIBC, 23 Highland, that's H-I-G-H-L-A-N-D Avenue, London, 70Y79J. If you have any questions about the competition, please contact us at the same address, phone us at 0789 
786-7898 or fax us at 0789-786-7899. The competition opens on the 10th of May 2011. Closing date is the 10th of June 2011. All stories must be received in our office by the 10th of June 2011. Good luck!